EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From breathtaking Pebble Beach, California, it's live third-round coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Beautiful weather here in this early February fixture for golf fans. And if you're locked in winter's vice grip, well, this represents a bit of hope on the horizon as we check the leaderboard. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. And that is going to miss the fairway as his opening tee shot is in the rough. It's okay, not ideal, but um, manageable from there. Maybe a little too pumped up there. That just flew past the flag, but still an outside chance for a birdie. Nope. Good effort, but that's got to wander a few feet by. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. This starting toward the right side. The miss fairway at one didn't hurt him, but this a much better tee shot as he is safely in the fairway. Now from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. But that one had to feel good. Yeah, he struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, no problems there. Finishing off a birdie at number two. And he moves to 21 under par. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Little bit of an awkward distance for this, his second. Oh, that is how you get to be world number one. A beautiful shot there to get it in tight. Done. He's looking good early. That's birdies at two and three. And that means he'll get it to 22 under par. Well, that's down there pretty far, but it's going to wind up in the bunker. And coming off the two straight birdies, this will be a little tougher as the tee shot is into the bunker. 
Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for Birdie. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. And he's going to move to 23 under par. And that's certainly not what you have in mind standing on the tee box. That never had a chance of hitting the green. Ten foot putt left. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that one brushed in for bogey here at the fifth. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. Errant tee shot here, Rich, but gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. Second shot from the rough at the par five sixth hole. You cannot help but think about what Tiger Woods did here in 2000 on his way to winning the U.S. Open. It was one of the greatest shots in the history of the sport. Seven on from about 200 yards, thick rough. He just lashed at it, muscled it up the hill, and Roger Malfi, the announcer, said, "It's just not a fair fight." He was right. Take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. We welcome in Iona Steven. This a putt for birdie. Yeah, and there is a big break here from right to left, and we're going back up the slope, but just ever so slightly, so you have to prioritize that line. Oh, that looked good the whole way. Very nicely done. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven, and that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Pulled it. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. Ball sitting in the heavy stuff to the left of the fairway. Got a couple options. Most likely going to have to play out left of the green. Going to be difficult to get the ball on the surface. Another option is to consider a layup. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament.
that's a nice swing and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine from the fairway we check in with Noda well when you find your ball in the fairway at the ninth you hit a great tee shot one of the most difficult fairways to hit on the entire golf course but now it opens up the opportunity to hit a great second down to Iona this for birdie yeah it's a long putt so pace is important but there's not a whole lot to it I fancy the chances of getting this close This one is looking good. Could it be? Oh, my goodness. That is not fair at all. What a putt from that distance. That did everything but go in the hole. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And that will be a sizzling 31 on the front side. Four under par. That one flirting with the left edge of the fairway. That is just a beautiful shot. So after that bomb of a drive, this is second to the par four. Okay, it's not stone dead, but that's not too bad. Gonna scoot a foot or two by. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he's gonna stay at minus 24. Saturday of golf here and this another fine tee shot so the great tee shot left him here now his second from relatively close range yeah good soft hands that is nicely done Uh, that's got to slide by to the left. Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. So that brushed in for a par here at 11. And he'll remain right where he is. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. That one safely in. And it's a par here at 12. And he'll stay right where he is. so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. This looks to be at least an extra club, maybe two clubs going way up that hill to the green. Leading is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. A great opportunity here for birdie. Just like that, it's a birdie here at 13. And he's got it to 25 under par now. <laughs> that 
That one going to split the middle. Maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just need it. A good bunker shot. Pretty good. That all that remains for a birdie four. Now this for another birdie. And another world in there. Birdie's now at 13 and 14. And with that, his score moves to 26 under par. Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. So you see where this wound up? Just a short pitch for a second. This, only about five feet for birdie. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. And that's going to move him to 27 under par. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. And that's a good approach shot, too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for Birdie. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. Yeah, a little tentative there, and that'll come up short. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain at 27 under. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Oh, yeah. Worth an exhale there. That's a good par save here at 17. And he'll remain right where he is. This started toward the left side. Oh, good of his definitely there to have another wonderful tee shot. Definitely within range of getting home in two. This is second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Chance now for another birdie. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. So a final look at the leaderboard, and this has just been a runaway so far. Our featured golfer, miles in front, with 18 left to play. I'm still scratching my head trying to find the difference between, you know, if 